it's beer o'clock on Real Old Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Flying Dog Brewery and it's a bottle of their Mimosa beer, their brew house rarities. It's an ale brew with orange peel and natural flavours, coming in at 5.2% ABV. There's the label, there's the bottle cap. Let's get this beer out into a glass and see what we get. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! Look at the smoke on the opening! And it didn't blow up anywhere either, that's really impressive. Here we go then. Look at that good roaring carbonation, we've got a three finger white head, good levels of carbonation rolling up the glass, hazy as you like beer, looks pretty good. I think there's quite a bit of sediment in the bottom of this bottle. I'll leave that for a moment to show you guys later on, but yeah, look at that. That's really quite impressive. Loads of rolling carbonation, hazy as you like. It very much looks like a, a, a wheat beer. Uh, two finger white head, let's get the aroma. Yeah, most definitely a wheat beer with some orange peel and yeah it's uh, it smells absolutely terrific. I'm going to be completely honest with you guys, um, I've done a couple of beer reviews before this very beer review and I've had two shocking beers I've reviewed from Lithuania, literally drain pours. Um, I've only kept them on the side there just to take some pictures later on from, for the thumbnail of the video. Other than that, I would have thrown it down the sink. This, on the other hand, um, it smells like the best beer in the world compared to what I've just reviewed. Wonderful floral orange aromas and there's some lemon. You've got that lovely wheat beer aroma. Spicy, peppery, mmm. Smells good, let's dive in. Cheers everybody. It's light, it's biscuity, it's bready. That wheat beer flavour comes through on the back end. It's, it's slightly kind of clovey and banana-y and spicy. There's some of that orange peel that the, the beer's been brewed with and the natural flavours. Um, not sure, I, I wish they would say what the natural flavours were. Maybe some spice, maybe some coriander, maybe some... I'm happy with that. Do you see how the beer changed colour then? As I poured the rest in the bottle. In, in the glass even. Uh, the beer is available from beersofeurope.co.uk, the largest online beer store in the UK with a fabulous range of beer from all over the world. Check out beersofeurope.co.uk in the description box of this video uh, for a, a link to their website. I'm going to try the beer now with some of that lovely yeasty unfiltered goodness added to the beer. Yeah, and it kind of just magnifies that flavour a little bit, so. Clove, spice, touch of banana. Very easy drinking, the mouthfeel is terrific. The carbonation pushes the beer on the inside of the mouth. That orange peel comes through nicely, maybe a touch of lemon, lime. Some spice on the back end. It's pretty good, pretty good beer. Um. Okay, uh, brunch. For some, it's an occasional weekend get together. Uh, for Cooper, our quality manager, and Drew, our lead brewer, it's a competitive sport. And in order to brunch the best, 
they pinched the ultimate beer companion for their breakfast lunch hybrid needs uh, no need for all that orange juice <laughs> yeah I totally agree nothing like a good breakfast beer 5.2 percent ABV um, yeah I, I really like this beer um, maybe a little bit more off the back of drinking some awful beers from Lithuania um, but still yeah good beer I enjoy it I'm going to rate that, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. It's an 8 out of 10 from Real Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! And cheers.